Hi guys, this is my Kermis at MH Tutorials, and today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to create a spooky corridor. All right, so we're going to start off with a polygon cube. We're going to drag that out as our first wall, something like that. Maybe make it a bit thinner, and make sure you have enough enough subdivisions on that. So we'll go with uh, ten by ten and depth that's tennis wall okay cool so we got that then next we're gonna do is we're gonna hit control D to duplicate that we're gonna pull that over so we got our initial section of our hallway here we're gonna pull this back and we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna hit control D to duplicate it and E to swing it over make sure we're at 90 degrees and we're just going to take that guy and we're going to push that out so from the top this should connect like that and we're going to move it over there so you've got this little corner i'll hit five so you can see it a bit better okay all right something like that maybe we'll make that one a bit longer something like so don't worry about that sticking out we're not going to see that okay so that's what we've got to start with next we're going to create a quick ground plane here and uh, don't make it too big we're going to hit w we're going to move that in and we're going to scale it down a bit so it's mainly into where we want it to be something like that to cover our hall and a little bit around the corner so let's see if we're going to see that bend here. This will pretty much be our view, something like that. So we're good there, okay? Now, before we do any texturing, what's really, really important is never, never, never make your walls exactly straight. So what we're going to do is on this wall here, we're going to right click, we're going to go to vertex, and we're going to take one of these, we're going to pull that in a little bit, we're going to push that one in a little bit, just to mess up that straight line a little okay because again you don't want that to be a perfectly straight wall and same for the wall itself you know you're going to grab a couple of vertices here you're going to push that in pull that out a little bit a couple here same deal okay just to make sure that this is not completely straight we're going to do the same thing over here right click vertex just to take a few here and push them in a little pull them out a little and so forth okay you get the idea we'll do one or two here right click vertex push one in there push one in there pull one out and maybe pull one out there okay now as for our ground plane and we still need to add some subdivision to that let's go with 10 by 10 which will give us this what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale it in a little bit something like that okay we're gonna right click we're gonna go to edge double click on these edges that one as well hit w push it down just a little not too much take that one and that one do the same thing and again you know you just want to break that those straight lines take your vertex pull it up a little pull it up a little and so forth okay all right, so we got our starting point. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to right click on this here, object mode, sorry. Right click, assign new material. We're gonna go with the Fong E because we want some reflection going on. Hit the checkered box, go to file. And I got a file from the internet and I call that thing black wall, something like that. Okay. We're going to hit our checkered box, which will allow us to see it. Now, these are pretty big uh, 
areas here. So we're going to select it. We're going to go in our polygon menu to create UVs. Let's try automatic mapping. Okay. Go to edit UV, UV texture editor, and we're going to right click UV, drag select, and we're going to start to scale that out actually. Okay. Now, as you can see, uh, and it's maybe hard to see, the stones are like that. So I want to flip that over. So I'm going to hit E to rotate that. And you're going to get a couple of UV repeats here. But because it's going to be a fairly dark scene, we're not going to notice that too much. So just make sure you've got nice small stones. Okay? Something like that. We're going to minimize this one here. We're going to take that guy, right click, object mode, pretty much repeat the same process, assign the material, Fong E, checkered box, file. I'm going to get my same file here, which was called black wall. Okay, and again, you can see they're pretty big. Create UVs, go to automatic mapping, edit UV, UV texture editor. Right click, UVs, drag select. We're going to hit R and we're going to scale that out, 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 out. Oh, sorry, got the wrong one. R, there we go. As you can see, they're getting much, much smaller. We're going to hit E, we're going to flip that over. Okay, so as a starting point, not bad. All right, we're going to do that once more. Right click object mode, assign the material. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. Okay, so Fong E, and we're going to go to file. We're going to select our black wall file. There we go. Here you can see it a bit better. Okay, create UVs, automatic mapping, edit UVs, UV texture editor. We're going to drag select this UV. Drag select, scale that out, hit E to flip it over, pretty much something like that. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. All right, now for our floor plan here, right click, assign new material, Fong E, let's get rid of that here. I got a different file for that, so select file. And I think that thing was called cobblestone. And this is blue, but it doesn't really matter. And I'll show you in a bit why. So these are obviously way too big. So right click, object mode, select that guy, create UVs, automatic mapping, edit UVs, UV texture editor. As you can see, we're pretty much repeating the process. Okay. We're going to hit R and we're going to scale that out until they're nice and small. And again, you know, you're repeating the UVs somewhat, but that's okay. So we got all that. All right. Let me minimize that. Okay. Now, here, here, and here, I want some bump mapping going on. So, sorry, right click object mode, object mode, object mode. We're going to go to our Fong material. We're going to go down to bump mapping, file, click on this black thingy here, go to the folder, and we're going to select our black wall for the bump map. And for the floor plan here, in the bump mapping section, we're going to go to file, and we're going to select that same file again. So that is the cobblestone file that I got. All right. So that's all bump map. Now we're going to quickly set up some lights. So create lights, point light. I want one to be about somewhere like here. And control D, I want one in my corridor around the corner here. Okay, we're going to select both. Now we're going to go to shadows, use depth map shadows. All right. Now, if we do a quick render, it's going to look a bit off because we've got the blue street and so forth. We don't even have a ceiling, but we'll just quickly hit render. 
Okay, this doesn't look too great right now. Okay, so and actually I can see that the bump map here took and these didn't, so just have to fix that. So I got that one, and I'll just quickly go through that process, guys. There we go. That's one. I'll do the same here. Bump mapping file. Uh, where is it? Black wall. There we go. Okay. This should already look a bit better. Yeah. So we've got a bump mapping going on. In itself, it's not terrible, but and again, it's it's pretty low quality, but it will make it suitable for you know games and so forth. So now we're going to tweak it a bit. Okay, we're going to minimize this. We're going to take that light here, and we're going to change the color of the light. So up here in the uh, color section, we're going to click on the color, and we're going to make that nice and red, and make that even fairly dark red, something like that. Okay, and then another color that always works great with kind of spooky setup, so to speak, is green. So we're going to select that one, hit the color, Go to green, and I'm not going to make that fairly dark. Okay, so let's give this a try and see how that looks. So we're going to zoom in our cor corridor, something like that. Okay, make sure you don't have any sky visible. We're going to go to our render settings. Not that one. Okay, uh, I'm going to choose metal ray, but that's just a preference. I'm going to bump up the quality a bit to 1.25 roughly and I'm going to increase my quality to HD 1080. So this tutorial took a few minutes. Let's see what we got. Okay, This should be, if everything went okay, a fairly decent uh, corridor setup that you could use in a game and so forth. Now, it's not the idea to create a spectacular, detailed corridor. It's to give you an idea how you can set up your scene when you're modeling something like that. Okay. Now, um, looks like this is going to take a sec, so I'm going to quickly pause the video, and I'll be back with you guys when it's done rendering. Hang on. Hi, guys. So this is the final render. As you can see, it's uh, pretty visible that we put curves in the walls and so forth to make it uh, not that straight. You can play with the light settings, uh, you know, the way you like it. But this is a quick and easy way to set up a corridor, especially when it, you want to use it in a game engine uh, like Unity, because this is a very low poly setup, so it uh, will act nice and quick. If you got any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for watching, and if you've got any requests for new tutorials, please let me know. Bye.